Schools have become a decisive political battleground. Families and so-called defence committees are camping out to ensure schools stay open and double as polling stations. Pro-secession volunteers here in Barcelona offer voter information through an app. These are the few square metres at stake, the spot where a ballot box will be placed. It's pretty exciting, you know, because it's like uh, so many people here reunited uh, just uh, with one cause in common. But police are under orders from the Spanish government to evict citizens and shut down schools at around dawn on Sunday. If that happens, the referendum could be in jeopardy. In Madrid, Spain's foreign minister criticised the Catalan authorities' defiance. We think that um, law guarantees democracy. And what um, they are pushing is not democracy, it's a mockery of democracy, a travesty of democracy. Um, referendum uh, do not equal or do not equate democracy. Catalonia is Spain's wealthiest region. It's a bit bigger than Belgium, its economy larger than Greece or Portugal. It has its own language and own cultural identity, but the issue of secession has deeply divided society. With few impartial surveys, the street is the only, if imperfect, barometer of voter sentiment. On Saturday, thousands turned out in Madrid, demanding Spain remain united. We don't agree on what Catalans are doing. They have no right to do what they're doing. We're all Spaniards. Catalonia is Spain, and that's it. Police raided the Catalan government's computer technology centre and shut down software due to be used for the final voter tally. Today we were informed that the organisation of the illegal referendum suffered a blow when the facilities of the Catalan government's telecommunications hub were blocked with the intention to prevent telematic voting and vote counting. Referendum for a new republic or mockery of democracy, the outcome is unlikely to hang on technology or the law but on the ability of citizens to defend the ballot box in schools that have become a battleground.